Hey, what's up? It's uh, 25 minutes past 11 on Saturday morning. End week starts on Monday, so I've been having a massively productive day. I've got a whole long list of things to do if you check here on my calendar. Um, stuff that I've set out for myself to do, kind of like a study schedule. But it's been going okay so far. So far, I have done two hours of a past uh, analog electronics paper. It's uh, such a shit subject, I can't lie. Uh, there's so little help with the difficult equations and that, and there's some past tests online with the answers, but not the calculations as to how to get to the answers, so I don't know what I'm going to do later in the week, and I have to see if my friends or other people have oh, done better than I have, but yeah, that's kind of like electronics, maths, EMK, I was reading through the EMK textbook yesterday, and it's uh, pretty full, but I was doing a past test, and I think I'm going to be okay for that, I think I'm going to manage, um, yeah, otherwise, all going well. Just had a nice break outside where I sat on the balcony and uh, just chilled. Saw what's happening outside in the world. Got some sunlight, some vitamin D. But uh, back to the cave now. I'm going to do a two hour session where I work on a, a past paper for differential equations. Hopefully, I can finish it. Then I got some household chores to do shopping, got to eat lunch, clean the kitchen, clean the dishes because, oh my god. There are, there are entirely too many dishes in here. Yikes! Yeah, Darren, Darren and I have been cooking a lot this week. So, um, yeah, let's hit the study session. See you now. I'm returning from the shops, just got the essentials for the week ahead, eggs, veggies, you know the usual, and uh, time to have some lunch and tackle this ginormous pile of dishes. What's up? It's 10 minutes past 7. Had a really productive day today, just I finished a calculus past paper. Been grafting, 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 grafting. While I did my chores earlier, I was listening to the audiobook um, Deep Work by Cal Newport. Really interesting. Not the, uh, I don't know, not the best book I've read so far in terms of like return on investment. It was like an eight hour long book and basically what I got from it was like deep work is long interrupted blocks of time spent on a single subject without distraction and then the importance of deep work in your professional and personal life and strategies going how to go about uh, putting and making space for more deep work in your life so that you can be more effective, you can have more downtime and so that you can just uh, work more effectively and achieve your goals faster. So interesting. Basically, he said to succeed in the modern world, you need to be able to learn difficult things quickly and then perform at an elite quality level and speed. Uh, and see how then just all strategies in that, uh, thoughts, discussions on how to make your, your life and your work day more productive and more efficient by cutting off all distractions and that and really focusing on deep work as opposed to shallow, I mean, a shallow, shallow interrupted work where you know, doing a bit of this, you do, doing emails as well. But when you sit down for two hours and do a maths paper, that's real deep focus. And so yeah, I think I've done about six and a half hours of deep work today. So I'm getting quite tired, but I'm gonna go have some dinner and uh, watch some YouTube and then hit up like another two hours before bed. A solid full eight hours of deep work today. I think that's a, a good start for injury coming up. But yeah, I'm a bit stressed for it, but maths is going well. Um, EMK, kind of okay. Analog electronics is just a fucking disaster, so we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, productive day so far, and uh, let's have some food. Mmm, just finished eating dinner. Um, I'm gonna do a bit more maths now. My dad left a comment on one of my YouTube videos the other day that he wants to see more of Rexy. This is Rexy Saria to Williams, my mom got him for me. He's a very nice addition to the varsity life at the moment and is keeping me company. Um, you can obviously tell I'm procrastinating. I don't wanna work, it's been such a productive day. But I must carry on. End week is coming and I'm still quite scared. So, let me hit out some more maths and then nice early bedtime. <laughs>
Hey, what's up? It's uh, five minutes to two. I'm about to go write my first semester test for this end week. Feeling good. Differential equations. It's amazing how much I know compared to last year. Ah, Darren is also grafting. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to go smash this. I know a lot of stuff. I'm really hoping it's going well. Darren actually has to write two semester tests today. I really written one. Such a beast. How did it go? Um... I don't know, but it's not really a module that you can know if you did it right or wrong. But yeah, it was okay. It's over. <laughs> and then what are you writing tonight? Accounting. You got this, man. You got this. Okay, see you later. Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, what's up? Busy running. 256 test went well. It, um... Uh, let me face the sun. 256 test went well. It was, uh, pretty hard. Um, so if you studied hard, you would have been okay. Some difficult integration that I couldn't get right, but some really good forms, implicit forms, that I managed to get that I was really proud of. So yeah, we'll see. Hopefully about a 60s, about a 60. I just had to run, needed to get outside. I've been sitting all week. Oh, let's go. Good morning, it's nine minutes to nine. Busy doing a whole lot of calculus here. Got a calculus test today. It's actually amazing what a year a year of engineering and work can do, some extra graft and just I don't know, some more mature understanding and more dedication to the tuts. I feel so much more educated compared to last year. Darren, how's the calculus going? Um, it's okay. Just okay? Yeah, I haven't done as much work as you have. Okay. Yeah, but you've had more tests. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully it'll be fine. Good, I back it. Good stuff. <laughs> Calculus! Woo! Hey, what's up? I'm sitting in the study center. Um, Jess just helped me a lot with e and &E, and I like electronics, so just going through a lot of stuff. Understand some of the stuff better. Dominant poles, uh, the feedback network topologies and that, like I understand that. So things are gonna kind of go okay tomorrow. Not wonderful, but maths went really well. Uh, calculus was really, really good actually. I felt like I destroyed it. It's amazing what extra year of work and studying and maturing and just graft can do for your intelligent understanding of a really difficult subject. So I'm happy about that. We just went from, this morning we woke up and saw there was stage two load shedding and it just flipped over to stage four now. So that's wonderful, yay. I'm gonna have to get back on that uh, load shedding video I've been meaning to make. But uh, it's the uh, electricity off at the moment. Luckily, this place has got a generator, so I'm not gonna go. I really want to go back to the apartment, but I can't because there's no power. <sighs> so yeah, just grafting, enjoying the load shedding, and uh, yeah, it's Tuesday today. Finishing on Friday. It's gonna be a long week, but I'll see you later. Hey, what's up? I'm about to go write my E and E test. I've done a lot of work and I'm still not ready so I've been really confused by the op amp topologies versus the uh, feedback network topologies. I've been making lots of progress and my friends have been helping me but I'm still very confused and some of the past tests look really difficult so I'm not super ready but let's go do this. And test went badly as expected, it was super hard, super different to all the past papers, everyone battled, no one did well and now I'm stressed but off to gym to have a quick break from the work. So because Darren and I live in a shit country, we're uh, in the dark here. It's just past 11 and the load shedding just kicked in. Stage four. It's so upset. How does it feel? Horrible. You have a coding test tomorrow, right? Yep. Fantastic. How long is your, how long is your battery going to last? Uh, probably not long, like an hour. Okay, no, three hours and 47 exactly. minutes. Mine lasts like literally 20 minutes, so. Man's going to bed. I'll try work tomorrow. Fuck you, Escom. And uh, yeah, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> oh. ah, what's up? It's Thursday morning today and the power just came back on, load shedding. It's going alright, it's stage four, uh, stage four load shedding, but I've actually been like designing my day around it, so the power's going out again this afternoon at like half past three, so I'm gonna wash the dishes then, I'm gonna go for a run then, I'm gonna shower then, and then by the time I'm ready to start working again, the power will be back on. 
it's been off now for two, uh, two hours. I've just been reading through some notes on my phone for microprocessors, which is tomorrow's test, my last one for each week. Feeling pretty confident. It's mostly just reading the data sheet of our uh, PIC, our microprocessor, and working with different values and a few different calculations of how much data you can put into which register, which registers you need to set and uh, work with in order to do certain things, enable, to enable certain communication. Uh, if you, they give you like a scenario and then how are you gonna, how are you gonna go about implementing a solution to that using the microprocessor? That's pretty good, yeah. Textbook is more coding based, so I haven't been going through it that much. Just been looking at the online video tutorials and that. Yesterday's E and E test really wasn't good. Everyone was complaining about it and just so frustrated because. Uh, the work that we've done in the tutorials and in class is just so different to what they ask in the test. And the test was very long, and so no one finished. Um, and just like, I don't know, we're at Varsity to learn how to do things. We're doing you need to learn how to work with analog electronics and amplifiers. We're not here to fail tests. We're here to learn and to succeed in using these things. And so, yeah, it's just frustrating. But lots of the older past students have told us it's a shit module, and it's one of the, the most disorganized and the most horrible. I'm really looking forward to doing AI next year because all of my friends who are doing it at the moment are having so much fun and they say the lecturer is amazing and it's so interesting and oh, I just want to do it. But I've uh, designed this nice new looking uh, five year plan for myself so the remainder of my degree is there, all the modules I've got to do. You can see the, the blue ones are eight credits, so slightly easier. Green, 16 credits, pretty hard. And then the red one at the bottom, that's my project, 64 credits, that's going to murder me. But uh, yeah, it's nicely spaced out now. I was talking to one of my friends, Josh, last year, who uh, also uh, has finished Varsity now, and finished MechEng, and he says it's worth it. Eh? It's worth it out there in the working world to get your engineering degree. So yeah, feeling quite confident about, I don't know, just life in general and that. Coronavirus is a bit scary, but uh, just got to be proactive, got to be read all the scientific news sites and that as to what to do. Don't panic, just be aware. And yeah, I'm gonna go study a bit more now. Talk to you later. And yeah, test is finished. Eng week is over. Uh, microprocessors test was quite difficult. The, again, it looked very difficult compared to all the past papers. Uh, don't know how I did. All my friends thought it was kind of, eh, it's quite iffy. Small little mistakes that you can make can have a big impact on that. But there's electricity at the moment and uh, there are much bigger problems in the world right now than all the things I've been complaining about in this video. It's just been because it's end week because I've been tired and frustrated. But yeah, coronavirus and that, there's much bigger things in the world. So stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to go enjoy my weekend now. See you later.